Hi. Uh, today we'll discuss about uh, Navian bias algorithm uh, and a uh, Gaussian distribution. Gaussian distribution uses mean and standard deviation. So here is the code that we'll be using uh, for an explanation about how we are using Navy Bayesian as a Gaussian distribution. Yeah, this is the code, okay, and this is the load files, and the separate by class function, mean function, standard deviation function, summarize, summarize by class, calculate probability, calculate class probability, predict, get prediction, and then finally accuracy. Now, this is the main where we are going to pass two, uh, two files. One is the training set file and another one is the test set file. The two files being passed and we are going to calculate the prediction accuracy on the, on the given test set. So here is the given input file that is you can say we can say is a training set. This is a training set and this training set has positive and negative values. So this is the target concept and target concept is yes and this is no and yes no and all these values are taken and this is the training set and this is the test set we are considering. And now the this is divided into two different classes that is zeros and ones. So here we had zeros and ones together and you have separated zeros uh, into one and we calculate mean standard deviation and calculate for the test case. And this is the test case. This is the test case that is been given and that is the test case is one zero one. This is the test case and we calculate the mean standard deviation and the test case of it. Here we sum all the first columns and we calculate the mean. Similarly, second column, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth. We calculate the mean of it and that this is the formula that we are going to use to calculate the mean of the function. So mu represents the mean of the given input data. So this is the class 0. And next for class 0, the standard deviation is, this is the formula that is the st standard deviation equals 1 over sigma 1 to n x of i into mu of whole square to the power of 0 0.5 that is root of it. This is the answer. This is the formula that, um, this is the answer and this is the formula that is used for calculating standard deviation. So for each column standard deviation is calculated. For this column, the standard deviation calculated. For each column, the standard deviation is calculated. And now, the test case, so test case which has been taken, so these are the three test cases, that is the input. So the first row is considered and we calculate the test case of the first row and this is the x of value. So this x of value is this x of value is substituted. The 6 is substituted here and mu and rho is, is already known. So only this the mu is coming from here and x is coming. This is the 6 is the x and next time 148, 172, 35. This x values and root of 2 pi rho. So this, this becomes the, this is the input getting from here and mu is getting from here. So we calculate f of x. So if f of x we calculated for test case 1. So that is for 6. And then f of x is calculated for 148. Then f of x is calculated for 72. f of x is calculated for 35, 0, 33.6, 0 0.627 and uh, 50. So it is calculated for this one. For this test case. So here. So this is the test case. So after calculating this is we can multiply all these values that is f of x all f of r values for the each test case each test columns and we get probability of x for 0 that is the condition that is the case and same thing is repeated for the the test 2 and test 3 probability is calculated by the uh, by calculating f of x for 1 f of x for all each 1, 85, 66, like this for all the 
columns and then multiply these columns and we get the probability. Again here all columns are multiplied and we get the probability. So that is what f of x. So this is f of x, x is here 6 and here 1 and like this each column values. And then for the second uh, class that is the second class is the 1. The first one was 0 and now it is for 1. We calculate the mean, the sum of all the columns, sum of all the columns, mean, sum of all the columns, standard deviation for all the column values, standard deviation and then the test case in the input is taken and the same thing is repeated for this. Mu is the mean, mean value, uh, rho is the standard deviation, so this is the input is taken, x of i is the value, uh, x of i, 3.44 is the x of i for here and for this input x of i is the test case this this x so here this x is 4.75 this x and these values and this x is 3.44 and these values and this x is 6 and these values so each values is calculated and multiplied for each test for each test case the probability is calculated so after multiplying f of x so now then for 0 probability we got and for 1 probability we got we compare which is the highest so x1 is greater than a1 or a1 is greater than x1 we calculate it and we define it this is the prediction we calculate the prediction and if if the prediction matches with the given input then it says 100% matching now let us look at the same example same example with the program so here is a program which we are considering and the input file this this whole set is the input that is the data set and it is a file is opened it is in the read mode and it is taken into a data set so it is taken into a data set and this is the second file that is a file name 2 that this is the input that is being given it is put into test, test set and now now we are going to calculate the uh, the mean as we discussed so in the, this is the code we can calculate the sum of all, all the numbers the sum of all the numbers sum of all the numbers and the length of it so sum of all the numbers and the length of it mean sum of all the numbers and length of it sum of all the numbers and length of it so we calculate the mean of it so next one is the standard deviation so we take the input of the mean and the standard deviation we take the mean and the standard deviation to calculate the standard deviation this is the standard deviation is calculated so this is the formula this is finally 0.5 is the math dot square root of variance variance is the inside these values so that is sum of this is the sigma sum of x minus average x minus average so here x values is 4.03 or 18.22 so these are the values so each values has for each value we get the standard deviation so and the mu is the mean that is we calculated before that is uh, here 4.57 is the mean which is input to 4.03 which is for standard deviation one so the next one next code is calculating the probability and the probability is the f of x we calculated and multiplied all the f of x that is values the, this is what we calculate the probability of it we calculate the probability of it and we multiply all the probabilities calculate and mean multiply this is this is what values so six values is passed and the multiply them uh, that is standard f of x is calculated the normal distribution is calculated multiply the uh, normal distribution of six into normal distribution of 148 into 72 like this each column is multiplied so that is what you calculate the values here and we get the probabilities of each values and we compare each probability so here predict the comparison is made compare this for zero's probability if it is zero if it is zero class then this is the input probability if it is one class value then this is the probability compare them so this is compare them so initialize with the none and minus one and compare them and we get the best value this is center so which is the highest is passed the probability it is passed and if it is if it is true then you will send the best value um, uh, value is sent and we compare them with the prediction so we predict the result result is one here we pass it so prediction so this is the prediction and when these two prediction is compared this is the accuracy which is correct 
so when whenever it is correct you can correct so correct value the length of it into 100 so we get all the values are matching so we get 100% matching okay thank you